Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. My name is Doug and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you uh, exactly how I quit smoking uh, and why I quit smoking. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how, so it's not going to be one of those videos where I'm going to direct you to my ebook that's for sale or something and bombard you with loads of adverts and crap and I'm just going to tell you the whole thing. And I, I'm pretty sure that if you followed uh, my advice, and it's only it's only advice, that you'd probably stand a good chance of quitting. Um, first of all, um, I'm 52 now, and I'm not in the best of health, in general health, uh, and I'll explain that to you too. And I'm not saying that it has anything to do with smoking, and at no point has anybody in the medical profession said, no, this is exactly why, because you were a smoker. No. But they all did say, <coughs> all along, that, you know, um, quit smoking because, you know, is it, there's a chance that it's caused and certainly aggravated by smoking different things like that. So what do I have? Well, first of all, I smoked between 40 and 60 cigarettes every day. So I was a mega, mega heavy smoker. Okay, and I tried all the things in the past, you know, cold tea, he not a chance to turn me into a monster. Uh, all the different things, read all the books and stuff, read all the interesting information, but oh, I know, and I know how bad smoking is for me, and everybody look at kind of, but you, but you just move it away, don't you, you know, you put it somewhere else. Anyway, a couple of years ago, I ended up in hospital. Um, in any of you who follows the channel will know. Anyway, I was initially um, put in because I had uh, super high blood pressure, uh, which turned out to be malignant hypertension, which means that if I don't take drugs every day, my blood pressure will just go out of control. Okay, was that anything to do with smoking? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I also drank a lot as well. I was quite a heavy drinker. Um, so, you know, I don't do that anymore neither. But anyway, so I have uh, malignant hypertension. I also have diabetes and I also have a, quite a rare condition called autoimmune pancreatitis which means that my body attacks my pancreas. Are any of these smoking related? They, they don't know and they won't say but they said you know there's a chance that they are and the best thing you could do is quit smoking. But anyway I, I, yeah, I didn't think we carried on, carried on smoking. Anyway at some point um, I think it, in November 2014, I thought, yeah, I know, but I'm going to give up. I'm going to give up smoking. I'm going to, I don't want to smoke. I'm going to quit. So I went to see my GP who referred me to the NHS smoking guy who used to come to the uh, doctor's surgery, our local doctor's surgery once, once a week or once a fortnight or something. So I went to see him. And uh, one of the first things he did, and he, he was great. He was a great guy. He's still a great guy. <laughs> Um, one of the things he didn't do was he didn't preach to me and he didn't give me all the, all the crap, you know. He just listened to what I had to say. Uh, and it, But he did do a, a CO2, I think it's a CO2 test, I think when you blow into the machine. Normal reading on a CO2 test, for people who don't smoke and just general or, or right people, is about, is about six. I think it might be percentages, but I don't know, okay, six. I blew into this thing and you could tell by the look on his face that it wasn't good and he said he said to me before he told me the reading he said this is nothing to be proud of but you've got a reading of 86 86 but 86 it's supposed to be six anyway so we start talking about you know he's obviously i'm a heavy smoker i, I think i'd smoke two fags on the way to, to walk into the doctors you know anyway he get yeah, two different options and things like this you know and um he, uh, he, he, one of the things was these tablets, these special tablets. And basically, you take these tablets for, you start to take them at a certain time. But up to that time, you can smoke. But you can, you start taking these tablets. And after a few days, you, you start taking a tablet, but you still smoke, right? And then the, as the tablet goes up, up, up a dose, I, I can't really remember now anyway. But apparently, it works by switching off certain receptors in your brain. And I thought, yeah, this is for me, you know, I, that, that'll, that'll do it, yeah. Didn't work, didn't work for me. Reached a point where I'm supposed to not think about wanting a fag. What do I do? Have a fag, I'm fine. Nah, I don't, scrap. So I go back to the guy and says, this, that didn't work. That didn't work, mate, seriously, that didn't work. So he said, where are the other options? 
So he, he, he went through all the other options with me, right? So um, at this point, let me tell you something. Uh, one of the options was gum, uh, nicotine gum. Now, my dentist has been trying to tell me, he's told me for years, quit smoking, quit smoking, quit smoking. And I'm like, well, you know what I mean? Why well, quit smoking now, you know? I like me sp Quit smoking, quit smoking. I I'll tell you why, right? My... <laughs> Then this is probably, again, one of those things where is it anything to do with smoking why my teeth are like they are? Or, or, or was it something else? They think it was probably a lot to do with smoking. Okay. Uh, this next bit you might want to look away because I'll, I'll tell you, I, I, these are false and this is what you end up with. No teeth. I have no teeth. Uh, but seven teeth. So back I have dentures. So my teeth just rotted um, and it wasn't through lack of dental hygiene, trust me. So was that anything because the fact that I've got a few teeth left in my head, anything to do with smoking? I don't know. 60 cigarettes a day? You know, do the math, probably. Anyway, so we're there at the, at the, at the thing, going through the different things. So I, he says, right, we'll try patches. He says, and we'll try... Uh, Nicotine gum, I said, can't take the gum, the dentures don't work with them. He says, oh, we'll try lozenges. And he said, um, we'll try an in in inhalator and, 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 and a spray. And I said, hang on a minute, well, which one do I take? He said, no, take them all, mate. Take them all. He said, we're going to have trouble getting enough nicotine into you to, 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 to get you off the nicotine that's already in your system. So I would not recommend doing that with with what, you know, don't do that because you probably don't smoke as much as me and you may not even want to quit, so who cares? You know, if you do, here's the crack, right? So, armed with my my nicotine mist spray, my lozenges, my patches, and my inhalator. Now, the inhalator is quite good. I'll show you. It's this little thing here, and you just line up these two things and you pull it apart and then you get one of these you get these in the boxes a load of these um, and you what you do is you just push one in like that one end and then put them together and then you just draw on it like you would a cigarette and it's kind of like the um, e-cigarettes but without without the vapor so armed with those I got went to the camp got I got my prescription from them went, went and armed with my bag of goodies to quit smoking I went home and did nothing didn't take them didn't quit 12 months later almost 12 months later so last October I'm I'm, I'm sitting I think it was might be in October the 8th uh, I'm sitting at home and it's in the evening and it's around 7.30 and I'm smoking a cigarette and I, I just said, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna try and quit again. Now, the thing is, a lot of people will do this thing where they'll go, right, I'll quit next week or I'll quit on this date or set a date to quit. Um, to me, there is never, ever going to be a good time to quit smoking. And never a good time to stop drinking and ne never a good time to stop any drug. Because if you've got an addictive personality, that's it. You, you, either, you either stop it or you carry on. Now, for me, cutting down did never worked. Never worked. It was all or nothing with me. I can't, I can't sit there and smoke four cigarettes a day. I'd be still smoking now because, you know, it'd be fine. Four fat, what's that? Nothing, you know. I'd still be addicted to nicotine. I'd just be kidding myself. Because, but I'd still be on four cigarettes a day. It's like social smokers. <clears throat> Social smokers maybe go out and smoke uh, two or three cigarettes at the weekend. You know, they're not, they're not addicted. They are, but they only smoke two or three cigarettes at the weekend. Then it's probably going to do them no harm. But they they wouldn't be able to go out and not smoke their two or three cigarettes. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that's, that's the thing. So anyway, at eight o'clock, and I, I, I put this down, I, wrote, I made a note of it on my iPad. At eight o'clock on October the 8th, 2015, I had my last cigarette. At that moment, when I put my last cigarette out, I started using the, the bits and pieces. They put the patch on. Um, 
do is the, 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 the inhalators and things. And it worked, it worked. Now, it, I don't know why it worked. Right, well I do. I do know why it worked. But it did, it did. It, I wasn't moody, you can ask Joe, who my wife, who's been ultra, ultra supportive with this and, and everything. And who still smokes, by the way, but only, only a few. Only a few, and she smoked loads, because I was rolling cigarettes for me, rolling cigarettes, and I'd be like over 100 packs a day, you know. And now she hardly smokes at all. Anyway, the point is, the point is, that I convinced myself that I was addicted to nicotine. I mean, I I knew, I, I just told myself, you know, you're a drug addict, you're a drug addict, dog. You're addicted to nicotine. That That's it. Instead of getting my drug from a cigarette... I'll get my drug from these other products. And it worked. Once I convinced, once I'd got it into my head that I was still getting the nicotine and my brain was happy and all the rest of it, it, it actually worked. And a little inhalator thing they gave me, that was good as well because that gave me something to do with my hands. So uh, anyway, I was getting a bit, I didn't, I wasn't so keen on that. Right, so I thought I'll get one of my e-cigarettes and they were okay. So, um, so it, I haven't smoked since then, by the way. So, what is it now? Six or seven months. I haven't touched a, a real, a real cigarette, and I don't have any patches anymore. I haven't had any patches for about three months, or any other nicotine-related product that I, I weaned myself off. That as you're supposed to do it, and it worked. It worked great. So now I haven't. Don't touch nicotine products. Don't need to. Don't, I'm off. I'm gone. Don't smoke. What I do do, however, is I. I vape because I still like doing something with my hands and I you, you I like minty minty flavors and like blueberry and stuff like that which are very cool now there is still some things as is vaping bad for you um the the jury's still out on that basically isn't it but uh, you know it's better than smoking I'll tell you that there's another interesting thing as well. Once I did quit again, once I, like last October, once I actually stopped smoking, I booked an appointment to see the NHS guy again because I was going to need repeat prescriptions for the patches and stuff like that. And I told him, I think it was two or three days after the 8th of October, and maybe two, or three, a couple of days, it wasn't long anyway, and he took another CO2 reading. This is just two days without cigarettes. Remember, my other reading was 86. This one was six. So in two days without cigarettes, all that crap, basically, from my breathing had, had gone out my system. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so the vape. I, I vape now, and it's great. So you just get the vape in you. It's still like it's still like smoking, but it's not smoking. But anyway, but I don't need this if I, if I go out anywhere. We don't. I don't take it with me. And Joe said I hardly hardly use that now. You know, I, I don't notice. But anyway, that's one of the things that helped me quit. So all these things did help me quit. I didn't just go cold turkey. Uh, so m medically now, uh, I feel better. Although I still get uh, out of breath uh, whilst walking around. But you know, there's there's. Uh, damage has been done now uh, and this is I'm going to show you now this is what I this is the, 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 the drug regime that I'm on every single day and probably will be for the rest of my life okay so first of all I have to take um, blood readings every day four times a day for uh, the diabetes and I have to uh, inject that well prick my finger with the the gun and take a reading for my uh, blood sugar levels okay um, I'm on four glycosides a day for the diabetes let's see what else I'm on three metformin a day for the diabetes and I have to inject myself once a day with insulin. Again, was that anything to do with smoking or was it something else? I don't know, but I'll, I'm, I'm pretty certain the smoking didn't help. 
you know. Okay, so for the blood pressure, now I have to take uh, one Ramipril a day and two Doxazosin a day. For the autoimmune pancreatitis, I have to be on steroids until they find an autoimmune drug that works. Now, <coughs> they tried me on isothyprine, that messed with my liver function test. Then they tried me on um, mercaptopurin, which is a cytotoxin, which is one of the um, chemo drugs. Uh, that didn't work, that messed around with my liver function test as well. So I, I'm still on steroids now, I've been on steroids for too long. Uh, and also, once a day, now I have to take a statin for my cholesterol. And I also have to boost my calcium levels with calcium. So all those things I have to do daily now. And I don't know if they were smoking related or not. Um, I'm sure it didn't help. But I do feel, even though I'm on all this stuff, I do feel a lot better than I did when I was still on all that stuff, but I was smoking. I, it was funny, I used to get up in the morning and uh, <laughs> be coughing, <coughs> coughing really bad, coughing, coughing, coughing really bad. In fact, I used to get loads of comments on the videos about my general voice. Uh, anyway, um, coughing really bad, and I'd be, I'd be, you know, smoking away there like a nutter and saying to myself, like, oh, um, you all must be coming down with a cold. I've got, I think I'm coming down with a cold, I am, I think I must, I must have a cold. Not, nah. From the day I quit smoking, the cough went away. Honest to God, the cough has stopped. And I haven't really coughed badly. I mean, obviously you get the odd, the odd sniffle, the odd cough. But I haven't, like, had that smoker's thing where I'm coughing my guts up every morning and blaming it on something else. So I think, I guess, I think I, that's how I did it. Anyway, I used the products that were available and I tried to use them properly and it worked. And I, if it worked for me, it can work for you. If I can stop smoking, anybody can stop. Anybody can stop because I was proper, proper addicted. I've got an addictive personality. So, you know, I've got to be careful. As well, also as well, it doesn't bother me now. Other people, it actually, whilst I was taking the products, it didn't bother me. And the weird thing was, I, I can't, I didn't smell smoke. If if, if someone was smoking by me, I, I can't, and I still can't smell it now. Joe has a cigarette, can't smell it. It's, it's weird, weird thing, because I thought I'd be able to smell everything. Food tastes better, as well. <laughs> that's a that's a thing. Food tastes better. Um, yeah. So you know, it's as a. Everybody knows it's 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 not good to smoke, uh, but it's really really hard to quit. But the way I did it, it it wasn't so bad. It really wasn't so bad. I never lost my temper once. Oh God, I had one minor wobble. I didn't have a cigarette, but I had one minor wobble where I said to Joe, "I could really do with a cigarette. Give me a cigarette." She said, "Please don't have a cigarette. You've done so well." So what I did is I paid. Um, I I think at this point I'd stopped with all the all the product. And everything. So what I did was, uh, I think I might have took a blast on the the nicotine blowy this this thing, uh, and I was fine. Then I was absolutely fine. I just carried on with my vape vaping pen. <laughs> it's good. Uh, a lot, of, like I said, a lot of people don't think these are these are uh, the same as the cigarettes, but they're, they're, little, they're a little bit better. You know, you can get, and you can get all different flavors as well. This is not, I'm not advertising the products, I'm just, I'm just telling you what, I mean, there's millions of different ones, you know, they're all much the same, um, and they're all different prices, you know, um, and I, I'm, I'm not advertising Yonak, but although I do love Yonak's iPad apps, and they were very kind, when I got ill again, not long ago, they were very kind to me, Yonak, and sent me, sent me a t-shirt, and also sent me some Yonak guitar picks as well. And I did say that I'd give them a shout out in 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 a, in a video blog I was going to do. Um, anyway, guys, I think I think I've pretty much covered everything. That oh yeah, one more thing as well. Um, now this was they're not really sure how this happened either. I've got a macular degeneration, and I'm only fifty two, age related macular wet macular degeneration in this eye, which means that I see I see two 
kind of two of everything like that. Um, and I, this, the, this, the, the vision in this eye is, is warped and distorted, so it's very difficult for me to see. When I do iPad videos, I have to do this. I need to use a magnifying glass as well. So, um, But they tried fixing it with prisms in, in my glasses, uh, but that didn't work because of the macular degeneration is, is a warp. It's a warped and distorted. And like I said, um, injections for that in the eye. Uh, will slow it down but not not completely cure it so eventually I'll lose sight in that eye but um, I, again whether that was down to the smoking or more likely the high blood pressure but the blood pressure might have been down to smoking I used to get terrible headaches as well and I was like many many people I never went to the doctors I mean I was got I was migraines and I was dying but I'd be just on oh yeah I prescribed cocodamol now so I you know that's not but I don't take many of them to be fair anyone I get I've pain in my pancreas and boy when I get it it's painful anyway but anyway yeah so that's that's that, that's basically it um I'm <coughs> I might have lost a thread there anyway it doesn't matter it makes no difference um I get tired as well quite easily now but uh, I've quit smoking and that's the thing and, and that's how I did it uh honestly and it worked it worked for me and if 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 like I said, if, I think the key points are these. Convince yourself, uh, try to convince yourself that you don't need the actual cigarette, which has all the terrible, terrible crap in it. I mean, nicotine is terrible, terrible. It's an addictive drug, so... But it's not like having all the tar and all the other chemicals, the, 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 the bad, the really bad stuff, the stuff that will kill you. Um get you can stop that once but you still can get your drug there are other ways to get your drug once you can convince yourself that your delivery system has changed uh it is better uh than smoking then you'll 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 be good to and you will save a lot of money a lot i mean you will save a lot someone once said to me um before i go um there are a few things to know about cigarettes um you know the, the 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 companies and the government know that they're addictive, and that's why they charge so much for them. You know, um, also as well that you know cigarettes are one of the only products in the world that you can legally buy, legally buy, and if you use them correctly as you're supposed to, they'll probably kill you in the end or make you seriously ill. Uh, also, another good one was uh, if if I was to say to you uh, when you're 16 years old. Here is a here is a brand new jag, you know you can have it for you can have it for free, but all you you've, you've just got to pay me the equivalent of I don't know between five and ten pounds every single day for the next thirty years. Oh, by the way, it'll it'll probably kill you, and make you sick. You wouldn't take the car, would you? You wouldn't. You'd be nuts. But you know, there's there, there, there's your, there's your thing. Anyway, I feel better, and I'm, I'm proud of myself for stopping as well, because I never, there's Watson having a, having, a, having a bark. I'm proud of myself for stopping. Joe's proud of me for stopping, um, and I do feel a lot better. I feel a lot, you know, uh, that was another thing they sent me to, look, you're, you're probably gone now, aren't you? Another thing they sent me for as well before I quit was a spirometry test, which is a, where you blow into the machine test. And I was borderline asthmatic and, and they almost diagnosed me with COPD, the pulmonary disease thing, cardio, something like that, pulmonary disease. Uh, so that was another reason for me starting to think again about knocking it on the head. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you've stuck around, thanks for watching. Um, like the video, share it if, if you might find it might help people. Um, like there is no lies in this it's that's the absolute truth that's how i stopped and uh and probably some of my conditions are now probably could have been avoided oh yeah that's what i was saying sorry I, the, the, I'm back on the th i never went to the doctors for 20 years 20 years i was one of those people that didn't didn't need to go don't need to go to doctors i don't need to go i wish i had i wish i'd have gone for regular checkups over to today so anybody Go and have a regular checkup. You know, you could probably avoid all half the nonsense you'll get later on in life. I'm only 52. Anyway.
uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, visit us at thesoundtestroom.com for uh, videos that aren't like this, but for music related videos and stuff. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you later.